Peace and love, what's going on y'all? Stevie Zenith, Rich From Anywhere. And in this clip, Jay-Z is talking about confidence. Now, some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not know, but The Shop aired this past week, and I'm gonna drop this clip about Jay-Z speaking on confidence and how it really, really affects the trajectory of your career. Once the clip is done, I'm gonna give my commentary and tell you exactly what it means, but it's very, very important to be confident out here, y'all. You know that's what we're about here at RFA. I'm gonna play this clip right now. Check it out. Part of being confident is taking chances and being fearless, right? And that's what he is, fearless. Like when you say you ain't know how he's gonna show up, how he, it's just like him on display, like his confidence and his, his thing to take chances. Be like, this is how I feel today. This is what I wanna wear. This is what I wanna write. I wanna shoot from 40 feet today. Like I have the con, it takes confidence to shoot from 40 feet. You shoot an air ball from 40 feet. You know what that, you know what that feels like? Even in an empty arena, right, that's right, embarrassing. Right. That's a, that's embarrassing. Jay, did you, know? you have a like, like an aha moment? Or like, oh, the game's in trouble? I had a foolish confidence, like early <laughs> on. Like, uh, I remember playing, like I had a, my first demo. Like when I first said, oh, I know how to make songs. I didn't know how to make songs. I thought at the time. And I played for my uncle and I was like, yo, I'm better than LL Cool J. <laughs> and he's get the f out of here. <laughs> my uncle was like, real, like, get the f out of here. You ain't <laughs> I was, like, I was hurt. Like, I was like, shit, like, he, damn. He damn near damaged me. <laughs> right? But I survived that. And once I knew that, I was like, so I, I kind of came in, um, you know, if you listen, who's the best MC? Biggie, Jay Z, and Nas. Like, those was the guys at the time, you know? Um, and I, I believed that I was on their level at that time, you know, my first album. So I always had confidence, and I always knew that that I was going to excel like beyond, but you know, you still got to do it. You can believe yeah, you still it. Gotta do you it. you can have the belief and you know, it's just second nature. So essentially what you need to understand is that if you're not confident in this game, you can definitely get eaten up. Um, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to achieve success. You have to know you're the man or the woman before anybody else does. You have to have that confidence. You have to feel successful before it happens. And you know, that's the key. For us, we've created a six-figure brand, but we weren't always making six figures. You know, we had to really feel successful before we even became successful. You know, in the clip, Jay-Z talked about how, um, you know, he said he was better than LL Cool J, and he truly, truly believed that he was better than LL Cool J. And at the time, for those that don't know, LL Cool J was literally an icon, probably the biggest rapper in the world. Um, but little old Jay-Z, you know, felt like he was the man, felt like he was better than Cool J, and he truly believed that, even though his uncle did not believe that. So for you all out there that are getting started, you have to feel confident even when things haven't truly manifested itself yet. You have to feel that confidence because confidence breeds success, all right? Peace and love. Hope this inspired you.